Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the three main reasons why you will hate your telescope. I mean your $100 cheap telescope after buying it or actually three reasons why not to buy a cheap telescope. Yeah, I've been already testing two of them, very similar ones. Uh, one of the old style, I would say this is one of the old style ones. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying that they are not working, but this is really the old style. This is a little bit the newer style. You can see I've bought this just recently, fully tested on my uh, channel. I mean, I'm not saying it's not working. It's one of the better ones for uh, at this price range. Definitely, if you really want to buy something at this price range, yeah, okay, that's probably the best thing you can do. That's probably the worst thing you can do. But still, uh, I would definitely recommend not to spend one hundred dollars on this. And or when you give this to children, they they won't have this smiley face after that but uh, probably be very disappointed so the first reason is actually it's a tele lens and it's not a zoom lens and this can be very frustrating especially for beginners i mean here with 100 dollars we are talking about the price range where we see a lot of beginners and then you don't have the patience and you are not like a pro uh, spending hours of time to search for something you want to have something quick I mean they have these uh, search things here maybe we can see that even a little bit better on the right side yeah here when we click on that now you can see that even a little bit better you have this uh, viewfinder here but but they are very difficult to mount to adjust and also to use especially with this old style one the newer model is a little bit better but still it can be a huge pain to find something and with a zoom if you have a zoom this could help a lot so you are starting with the one to one and then you're zooming in and at the end you have your thing it's much much easier then second thing that's also very important it does not have any anti-shake i mean uh, if you want to use that with a phone holder and you have a remote control or timer or something like that yeah okay this can work but uh, also the phone holders are very 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 difficult to use with this device I can tell you they are super cheaply built and they are actually very likely to destroy or at least drop your phone and then it can be destroyed so it will be difficult very difficult to use it without touching that means the only thing the only way to use this thing is with this uh, normal eyepieces and then you're touching the thing and then it's shaking and then it's difficult to see something and then the third thing is very similar one uh, it's almost impossible to make a nice shot with some electronic device and then share your images i mean we are uh, talking about like 2021 now uh, you want to share whatever you see you want to share with people you don't want to just tell somebody hey i have seen something really nice you should see that they would say uh, yeah okay yeah probably it was nice no 2021 you want to share these things your experience you want to share with people you want to post on social media you want to uh, send it to your parents friends and so on so and then you want to get recognition for that so uh, this could in theory work with these phone holders but they these but these phone holders in the 100 dollar area they are so super cheap almost useless i mean especially this one is the old style one it's so dirt cheap it's almost impossible to get a decent view and even with the new ones it's a little bit better to get a nice view here to adjust the whole uh, to the center of the optics but uh, after that they do not have a, like a solid hold and then it's very likely that you will drop your phone and so it's almost impossible to make a nice image so what's then the alternate solution i can tell you i have an alternate solution unfortunately it's a little bit more expensive but that's the thing here uh, i mean there are different models around of this travel zoom or super zoom they usually have around 60x optical zoom that's not a digital zoom that's a 60 times optical zoom they are not super small but also not very large you can see these uh, cameras here i mean they are on the market since 
long long time this is not something very new uh, and also and of course they are not putting a lot of development into these cameras but they are solid built they are available since about 10 years or so and they are very very good they make very solid images i mean at least for this price range of course we are not talking about two thousand dollars three thousand dollar professional uh, cameras but in this price range this is really good you can make really nice images or even videos during the day with stabilization like from animals when you're out in the woods or in the zoo or wherever you are it's really possible to make really really nice shots like photos or videos from animals or anything which is really far away you don't even have to use a tripod with the uh, telescopes like for especially the astronomical telescope you have to use a tripod and even then it's difficult to get something stable here you can have this you can hold this in your bare hands and you still usually get very stable image sta even stable video can tell you it's amazing how good these things are and then you have it automatically uh, captured i mean you can make a picture you can make a video then you can download it to your phone you can share it with everybody so it's well worth to spend another 200 dollars and buy something like that and stay away from normal telescope of the 100 dollar or below 100 dollar area definitely please trust me i have seen this now enough and i can only recommend to stay away from that but use something like this i mean there are also other cam cameras around from canon but that has been usually the cheapest one with the best quality the panasonic fc80 maybe there will be a follower of this it's uh, at the moment a little bit difficult to get it i mean it's not the latest model anymore but they, i think they don't have a successor at the moment maybe they will come out with something new but it's still state of the art still the best thing which you can buy 300 dollars definitely not much for this quality and i'll put down the link to the amazon listing of this camera down into the description so you can check it out and order drive from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time